Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be diving into the world of camera accessory. But before we dive in, let's look at what I have here. If you're familiar with camera accessory, this is what, for me personally, I always see as a quick release. And that is the Aka Swiss type. Now, let me show you this. You see why I do not want to believe these are all quick release plates right now? It's for the fact that a couple of these kind of play into it. Let me show you. When you have the quick release plate that you mount, it go on like so, and you still have to, you know, a couple of twists, you see a couple of twists before you get it on, and a couple of twists before you get it out. This is what I know about quick release plate. So let's put this aside and see those that kind of push this one away from being a quick release plate. Let's get into mm -hmm. it. Right. So guys, today I have five different quick release plates that I'm going to be showing us. You're going to be amazed how far technology have gone when it comes to making life easy in doing what we have to do. So starting from right here, I have the Mount Roto Move quick release plate. I have the one from Edochrome quick release plate. I have Zippon, the revolver quick release. I have the iFootage quick release. So also the last one here, which I believe is the cheapest among them all is the Shinewee uh, QR360 quick release plate. So we're going to be looking at all this today and let's see which one comes first in terms of the build quality and how is of use they are. And also the quick turnaround when you are putting them on and off. So first we're going to see is let's open this Let's see what is inside. This is the five that I have with me that we're going to be talking about. And I want us to start from the one that kind of really look alike, which is the Manfrotto. Let's look at the boot quality. To my own understanding with what I'm seeing here, the boot quality are kind of alike. They have this rugged build, nice kind of aluminum grade. And um, when it comes to Manfrotto, these are kind of established company that you can easily vouch for that they have a good product. Does that mean they don't have product that do go bad? No. But you can easily tell that, okay, this is going to last you probably a very long time. But when it comes to the other one, the Shinewee, with what I'm saying, this is a very good build quality, but this is a company that I really don't know. And let's see if they can work you know, interchangeably. Yeah, sure. This is from Italy. This is from China. If that is important to you, now you know. I can't vouch for the longevity of this, but what I'm seeing now shows that this has a very good build quality when you look at the price you pay for it. And that we will come back to later. So let's put them aside. Now to these two that also look alike. The build quality is good. They have the same kind of mechanism. I believe this is going to like last you a lifetime if you take care of these two. They are really nice. If you are in the film or movie industry or photographic, whatever you're doing, you're not going to tell me you don't know Edochrome. You know they have a very good quality. They have, um, you know, they, they, they take care of their products. They look after their product very well. So you can be rest assured when it comes to this other crown that it's gonna last you a very, very long time. That you, you're gonna get very use of this device. And the other crown is kind of the smallest, and they have this low profile design with the zippon and the eye footage. You have the low profile compared to these two that are kind of bulky, but they are unique in their own way also. So let's look at this. How is of use that you can use this thing? Like I said, with the chrome, you can't take them apart. They build inside each other. So how do you mount it? And that would be the ease of use. So for the very first time, this have to go on your camera first. And you will need the SK that come with this to finally lock it down. Just position it, put it at the middle right there and you know, just tie it down all the way. So once you have that, you have your tripod, and uh, you, you you have to look at the lever, right? They kind of move around freely, 
independent of the mounting unit. I think that's what makes it a quick release, right? You just, you know, put the middle right on two. All right, not bad, not bad. It's nice, it's solid. And one thing I can tell you is that I can vouch for Edochrome, their product is good. Nice, not bad at all. And the time is not that kind of out of this world. It's, it's not bad. All right, it's quick enough for me, so I'll take this to be a quick release. All right, so the next is going to be the iFootage. So I'm going to take the top out and mount it on my camera, right? So, so if you look at the iFootage, I mean, if you look at the iFootage, they have this uh, 3, 8, and 1 uh, quarter inch receptor. So one do go down to re review the other one, all right? That is very clever design. Let's mount this. All right, we have this mount at the bottom of the camera, so we have to mount the base also. We have the base and we have the camera part of it. So what you need to do is that, looking at this, we have this stereo receptor, one, two, three. That is where you line your, the, the mounting right here and uh, like so. And it's clicking, all right? To take it out, you just push the lever, you take it out, put it back in, the same way all right so I'll take this to be a quick release all right so the next one is going to be the zippon revolver they also come in two parts the base which I'm going to mount so now that we have the base mounting if you look at this base you have this receptor also. In the case of the iFootage, you have the three receptor, but in the case of the Zippon, you have six, all right? Uh, if you look at this mount unit, you have six receptor right there that will go on this. This kind of give you quick mounting time compared to the iFootage. Let's mount this, all right? So in the case of this, before we move on, if you look at this area, you have a locking pin right there. That's good because this is using a lever to like release the, your, whatever you mount on it is using a lever. So they decide to put a locking system right here for accidental bumping, all right? So that is really good. Good. So it's locked down right now, and it's good, it's going nowhere. And that is the zippon, and I'm going to take this to be a quick release. Put it on, pump. If you want to release, press the lever. Once you release your camera, and you'll be good to go. All right, so this will be a quick release for me. All right, it's a quick release. Now we're going to go with the cylindrical one. I'm going to mount the Manfrotto first. You have it mount, then we go to this one. And let's mount it. All right. So let's take this out. Okay, so we have the bottom part mount. We have the uh, the bottom part and the top part. We have them mount already. So all you need to do in the case of this design, you don't need to guess where you're going to put your camera. It's 360, just drop it and it's locking. In this case, you can still move your camera around if you want to for positioning. And this is where I believe this design beats other design because of how easy you can mount it and still move your camera to position, all right? So you can move your camera because of the cylindrical shape design. This is very easy to move around. And once you get your position, you lock it down and it's going nowhere. So this is the Manfrotto move. To release, hold this 
gear, move it anti-clockwise, and this will come off. When you're done, push it back. It's locking, lock down, two step, and it's moving nowhere. That is the Manfrotto. So let's take it out. And move to the next one. So we're going to mount the top part to the camera. And once you're done, the same way with the Manfrotto, just drop in 360 and you're good to go. You also have the ability to move around your camera in this way before you lock it down. Two step. And it's going nowhere. It's going nowhere. Release, take out, drop in, no guessing. All right? You do not guess when it comes to this design. But all this design, these two, the eye footage and the zippon, you have to be sure that you line it up with the groove or S. If you look at it, if I miss the alignment, it's not going to click. I have to find it. And in the case of zippon, it's kind of even easy. All right? Compared to the eye footage, if you look at the eye footage, you only have these three spunk that kind of shoot up three. And in the case of the zippon, you have six. So six is better than three because like it takes time for you to guess. If you do not line it up, it's not gonna click in. You have to line it up. I think that's the only disadvantage that I see when it comes to this design, this low profile design. The disadvantage is that you still have to be sure they are properly aligned before you lock it in. But when it comes to this design of the move, there's no need to guess. You don't have to look for the alignment. It's circle design. Just drop it in and click. Lock it down. So for me, I think uh, this design kind of win when it comes to the time you put your camera in and take your camera out. This will be the design that I will say that, okay, it kind of, you know, win for the time, turnaround time. You see, when it comes to the either chrome, right, the design is unique, it's different. I'm going to say it's fast, but not fast enough compared to the circle design. And it's not fast enough compared to this. Let me show you again. You cannot mount it first. You have to go on your device first. And I'm not counting the mounting time because that's one thing you're just going to do once. I think I like the design. There's no headache. There's no need for you looking for the bottom part or the top part. All you have to do is that this work with any, anything you want to put it on. It's going to work with them. And you only need to turn it twice to lock down. Take it out twice and you're good to go. So that's the design about the, the Chrome, but for me, it's not the quickest. And for that, it's going to come last when it comes to ease of use, the turnaround of ease of use. The Edel Chrome will be my least favorite when it comes to the time, turnaround time. But when it comes to build quality, I'm going to stick with the Edel Chrome for best in build quality and best in design. I'll stick with the Edel Chrome. The Zipon, the advantage of the Zipon when it comes to the eye footage is that you're going to get a lot of scratch on your device if you're using the eye footage. In the case of the Zipon, you have this uh, silicone rubber that is kind of coated on, uh, on the faceplate that kind of protect your device. And that would be a plus. I like the fact that you have this locking mechanism right there to prevent accident bumping on the eye footage. It's not gonna be like a, a, a negative for not having that extra lock because even if you bump into this, you are, it's not coming off. You must be intentional by taking it off. And I like for the fact that they are low profile, but they are not my, they're not gonna be my first pick if I have these two. So, looking at the design of this Manfrotto move and the Shine Wheel move, they have the best design in my liking and they have the quickest time in putting it on, putting it off, they will take the first position. 
And that's going to be it on the design and the quick turnaround time. And off the bat, I'm going to tell you that they all have very good build quality. I'm not going to deny that. Even the Shineway is the cheapest here and the build quality is still top notch. So they all have good build quality. You're not going to go wrong if you are taking any one of these. The moment you mount this or this or this, the moment you mount it on your device, you cannot use it anywhere except you have the receptor, okay? The base, the base. If I have this on my camera, I can't just use it anywhere again. Anywhere I'm going to mount it, they must have what is gonna be compatible with it. Just like this, if I mount this with my camera, if I'm taking it from my gimbal to the tripod, the tripod needs to have this already mounted on the tripod. Or if I'm taking it to my slider, this must be on my slider or this before I can put my camera on it. But when it comes to the other chrome, nothing needs to be on anywhere. The moment you have this right there, that's all you need. You can mount it anywhere. And that's what makes this kind of different. If I can just take one quick release plate with me to travel anywhere, it will be the other chrome. But when it comes to gimbal work, this two will be my first choice. I will not consider this two. If I'm buying quick release plates, I will not consider this two at all. This will be what I will consider if I'm buying quick release plates that I want to have sets of. Instead I go with the Manfrotto or the Shineway, all right? If I have to choose one for overall everything, use with gimbal, use on my slider or my tripod, anything, this will come first for me. When I'm looking at the price, good quality, everything. But when it comes to travel, this will be my first choice, the Edda Chrome, all right? So overall, this tool will be my pick for quick release plate. So guys, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.